Aloha, vape fams. What's going on? What is good? This is Joe of All Vapes coming at you with an awesome e-juice review. So I really should have like some hula music playing or something like that because I'm feeling a taste of the tropics today. If it wasn't obvious, I don't dress like a tourist all the time just during the summer. You know what I'm saying? But hey, this is what I got to do to get a little bit of a taste of the tropics here in the PNW. It's like 50 degrees and raining constantly, at least in Hawaii when it rains. It's still warm, you know what I'm saying? I got in touch with a good friend of mine named Owen out of Hilo, Hawaii, one of the awesome little islandlets on uh, that beautiful little crest that is the Hawaiian Islands. And he's come out with some awesome e-juice from a company called Vape House Hawaii. <laughs> Boom, there you have it, buddy. And of course, I had to add the tackiness. It goes with my Tiki Man motif, you know what I'm saying? You, you should see the rest of the vape cave, let me tell you, it's decked out. But, five awesome flavors that we're going to deliberate and just kind of pick apart bit by bit, piece by piece with you guys, and we're going to have some fun while we're doing it, you know what I'm saying? So, be prepared, because this is how it's going to go down. First of all, let's check out the label on these bad boys. 30 milliliters each, really, really dig the label. Simple, yet gets right to the point. Vape House Hawaii. Um, this is a company that they have uh, basically their own little vape shop and they've come out with their own brand. Really, really solid stuff. I've tried every one of these five flavors uh, really in depth and the taste is outrageous. I mean, such a tropical, amazing floral to uh, bouquet to everything that this guy has. First of all, let's go down the list. All three milliliters because that's my thing. White Sands is the first flavor and that one is a coconut and pineapple yogurt. Can't get any better than that. I am a pina colada fiend. Owen knew that. And just serendipity, they happen to have one. I mean, duh. It's a Hawaiian flavor. I mean, come on. Can't get that out of the system. The next one is Pele's Kiss. And this one is Strawberries and Cream. Out of sight. The third flavor is Over East. And that is a caramel apple flavor. The fourth flavor that we got here is Mongoose Juice. And that's just your straight up good old fashioned Hawaiian punch right there. And the fifth and last flavor is Hokulea, and that is a custard and kiwi. Okay, so five signature flavors. And we're going to start with the first one that I tried was the White Sands, and that's a coconut and pineapple yogurt. This one is so much straight up pina colada, but it's just a little bit different because the yogurt is sort of kind of like that thick, rich, creamy Greek yogurt taste to it. Um, the pineapple is straight up solid, true to profile. So real true natural uh, pineapple taste to this. And the coconut, sweet, creamy consistency, kind of that warm texture when you bite into a fresh piece of coconut, you know what I'm saying? Just from that coating of awesome coconut oil that you get, blended with just a creaminess of that yogurt mixture going on in there. It's kind of like just a tropical parfait in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? Awesome VG to PG ratio on these as well, 70-30, which is a perfect flavor carrier, excellent for your drippage, and I dripped and sub-ohmed these. I sub-ohmed the white sands the most, Probably just I didn't want to keep dripping in. I know this is one of my favorites. It's actually my second favorite, believe it or not. And I am a pina colada fiend. As I've said before, I'm a girl drink drunk. Sue me. So we're going to go on to the next flavor. That's definitely one of the top ones right there for me. Pele's Kiss, the strawberries and cream. This one was really, really tasty. The strawberry is really, really light on the inhale. You can taste the cream on the exhale, but it's very, very mellow. It's not super solid creamy. Um, it's not dense at all. It's a very refreshing vape. The strawberry is not overly tart. It's very, very sweet, but it's a nice mellow blend, a good mixture, a solid binary flavor to it. And, you know, if those dessert flav uh, flavors, um, you know, if that's the kind of stuff that you dig, this might be just a little bit lighter for you on that end, but I found it very refreshing. So when the springtime uh, really gets in a full effect, bleeding into the summertime, this is going to be a great all-day vape for you on this one. You're definitely going to dig it. Now, the mongoose juice is the typical Hawaiian punch. It is much more tropical. It has a really, really unique flavor to it. Um, you know, I'm tasting mangoes, I'm tasting guava, I'm tasting pineapple, I'm tasting oranges. Really solid blend to this one. Um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say they steep the heck out of this guy, but I don't. So I'm just going to wing it and say that it is probably one of the best punch-flavored e-juices that I've tried. And I've tried all of them, man, let me tell you. It's a really, really good blend. And incidentally, going back to the Pele's Kiss, the strawberries and cream, 
it's not just strawberry working in here. The first inhale that I got off of this guy was just a tropical wave over my taste buds. So maybe they're doing a little bit of something special in there. They're just kind of adding their own little personal kiss. You know what I'm saying? Of, of, of just flavor of the tropics. Maybe it just picked up the essence and spirit that is Hawaii. I'd pay for that, let me tell you. And I will again once I run out. You definitely know that. So the fourth flavor that we're going to look at is caramel apple. This one was a really cool flavor. Um, the caramel comes through uh, just kind of like, like a natural caramel that you'd bust out in your pot, stir it over a slow heat on a stove with a wooden spoon, and it's just um, kind of has, I don't want to say a burnt taste to it because that sounds bad, but caramel has that deep, rich flavor to it. it it's um, it's, it's kind of unique in what it is. Rich and buttery with just a very dark, deep, rich flavor to it. The apple was very, very light and sweet, almost kind of like a Fuji, maybe something like that. Definitely not overly tart, but really brought in just a smooth, subtle apple flavor to it with just the deep and richness of a good homemade caramel, bringing down some awesome, awesome undertones, just making everything sit nice and happy on your taste buds. Definitely not a heavy vape. So, you know, once again, if you guys are into the heavy, heavy vapes, this one isn't really going to be for you, but I find it incredibly refreshing to switch it up like that. It's a really, really tasty vape, perfect combination between the two. And the last but not least is the Hokulea. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Owen, if you're sitting at home laughing right now, hey, I'm a white boy, man. What can I say? You know, Portuguese, but I digress. That's the only thing that separates us is space, man. Let me tell you. So this one is custard and kiwi absolutely knock this one out of the park for me. It is one of my very favorite flavors out of the five. The kiwi is, you know, it's a, it's a tropical flavor as it is, but very unique. It can come across as a very acidic taste if you're eating it for real. And, and sometimes that can kind of mimic a very tart flavor to it. This one still had that tart flavor, but not the acidic taste. So the, the taste was so solid and so true, almost a candy-ish, if you will, just a slight bit of a kind of a candy taste to it. At least that's what I'm picking up. But the custard, out of sight. I never really thought of pairing kiwi with custard before. I mean, in the past, you know, I've made a lot of desserts with kiwi and cream and whatnot and stuff like that. So definitely, I mean, I can think back into the recesses in the Rolodex of my mind, you know what I'm saying, that culinary Rolodex, and I can pick apart the individual flavors, but actually tasting this was a totally new experience for me. As a matter of fact, that's what I got in my bad boy right now. Creamy and tropical and just something really, truly amazing. So Vape House Hawaii has come up with five amazing flavors Totally hitting it out of the park, batting five out of five with the tropical goodness that is everything that they have here. 70-30 max VG on each and every one of these things, so dripper's paradise on that one. And the 30 on the PG is really going to be the strong flavor carrier for you. So really, really nice combination, great mixology, wonderful blends. Obviously, they took some time to put into this, and um, you know, I just I got nothing uh, bad to say about any of these flavors. Everything is solid here, and I mean, the chance to have uh, you know uh, some some awesome e juice all the way from Hawaii in the Joval Vapes Vape Cave and share these guys with you. I mean, come on, who would pass up an opportunity like that? You know what I'm saying? So here's what I want you to do: go on to Instagram and go to Vape House Hawaii, and definitely check these guys out. They've got some obvious provocative and awesome pictures on their website of uh, some some very attractive uh, vape ladies vaping it up with Pele's Kiss and the white sands you know what I'm saying on some white sands great great pictures it makes me it makes me uh, I want to say homesick because it feels like my home away from home I have visited Hawaii and believe me man I never wanted to leave but this stuff gives me a little taste of the islands in every vape how was that? Was that cheesy enough for you? Okay, I hope you're loving it because, man, this is uh, this is top of the line Joe of all vape stuff right here. Guarantee you talk to anybody that knows me well enough, this is me. Uh, so savor it. Savor the flavor. Anyways, uh, definitely go and check out uh, Vape House Hawaii and follow the link onto their website. Check out everything that they got. Buy yourself a badass shirt. Get yourself some awesome vape juice and think a little bit more of the tropics. Every time you take an inhale of White Sands, think of Owen and...
Think of Joe of all vapes. What the heck? So we're going to wrap this up into a tidy little package. Vape House Hawaii, Owen, my brother, I want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my Pacific Northwest heart. And I know that some of that is still within you. Owen is from the Pacific Northwest. Briefly, somewhere in his life journey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, there's always space in the vape cave for you, brother. Anytime you want to visit the mainland, keep a space open for me because I can guarantee you those tropical waters are calling me back, bro. So we'll be vaping it together eventually. You can guarantee that. If you dug this review, please check me out at Vapes underscore two on Instagram. Keep everything going and moving alive on Joval Vapes here on YouTube. I've got some great giveaways going on. One great giveaway going on right now on Instagram and another solid giveaway going on once every month. I've got some great mod reviews coming up here. Of course, it is still the extension of March Mod Madness, even though it's in April. I've got a bunch more coming in. Um, the next review is going to be a solid unregulated model, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Plus, tons and tons of eJuice reviews that I'm just flooding this month with, definitely to catch up with uh, some lost time through uh, just being out and, you know, down and out and sick out of it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even vape, but thankfully my taste buds came back. So that tropical goodness is here, here for my pleasure. You know what I'm saying? So by all means, love yourself, guys. Love each other. And the one last thing I just want to say, mahalo. Gotta spread the love, baby.